time of performance now before taking this topic i would like to ask you do you think time is important in a in a contract would it matter if the contract is not performed within the stipulated time or on the day when it was agreed now let's say it was agreed that the contract would be performed 10 days after the date so on the 10th day if the contract is not performed it is performed on the 14th day does it make any difference or let's say it was agreed that the payment will be made after a month and after a month the payment is not made it is made after two months so does it change the status of the contract does it affect the contract in any way let's see <clears throat> it is given that when a contract is made by two parties they are the ones who decide the terms and conditions of the contract as to what should be the subject matter what should be the timing of performance what should be the timing of payment where the contract is required to be performed where the goods are required to be delivered how the payment needs to be made all these terms and conditions are settled are agreed by the parties making the contract so they have complete right over the contract so they are the ones who set the time for the contract also so when the time for performance is agreed by the parties in the contract the contract needs to be performed within that time only on that day only when it is agreed however if there is no time which is stipulated you know generally in contract you will always have time which is stipulated let's say you know a month after date after making the contract or 10 days after making the contract or there will be a specific date we'll perform this contract on 16th january or you know 23rd august <clears throat> so the contract has to be performed within that specified time or on that day what if the time is not specified then what do you do then you have to perform the contract in a reasonable period of time now reasonable period of time is you know something which i cannot define something which you cannot define it is something for the courts to define it's a question of fact it depends on cases it will differ from case to case every case will have a different reasonable time for it you know possibly for perishable goods two or three days may be reasonable beyond that the goods will get um, you know deteriorated in quality they will not be best for consumption at the same time a reasonable time for food grain food grains might be a weeks time or a months time because food grains last longer again a reasonable time for shares may be shorter because there's there's uh, such high volatility there's such high movement in shares that you know possibly a day or two can make a huge difference even you know minutes can make a huge difference hours can make a huge difference but you know uh, reasonable time for a tv or a machine maybe two months maybe six months maybe a year because they are durable things so now reasonable time differs from case to case basis reasonable time for clothes may be different reasonable time for for milk may be different reasonable time for you know computers or mobiles may be different reasonable time for furniture may be different now this reasonable time depends on the facts of the cases so it is a question of fact <laughs> okay so we did that if the time is mentioned the contract has to be 
done as per the mentioned condition about the time it has to be performed within that period of time if the time is not mentioned it has to be performed within a reasonable time and reasonable time may change according to the case <clears throat> let's say r is uh, the time is mentioned that is the contract has to be performed after a month so you know when the contract has to be performed however you do not mention you do not know as to when on that day the contract has to be performed so what do you do you have to apply your brains you have to think that you are making a business contract and the contract act we are only concerned about business contracts we are studying business contracts and business contracts are to be performed during the regular business hours now regular business hours may mean from you know 9 to 5 or 10 to 5 in the evening 10 in the morning and 5 in the evening or maybe 10 to 6 in the evening now these are regular business hours when you know most of the business houses work after 6 mostly the business people retire for homes and they come by 9 or 10 in the morning so these are the normal or regular business hours within which you have to perform the contract you cannot perform the contract at 2 in the night or no at 6 in the morning the performance has to be made during the usual or the regular business hours 